it's Michael with Stellar Forge Mining. I wanted to go ahead and walk you through the Gold Shell CK5 factory reset. It's actually very easy, and if you can't get the factory reset to work, I'm going to show you just how to grab the actual GitHub files, and then you're going to load that on a micro SD card. And in the front of your Gold Shell CK5, you have that micro SD card, so you can just load that in there, start it up, let it run for a little bit, and then you're going to see some flashing lights, and then the flashing is over. So we're just going to go through the GUI today. Um, if you notice, this one's actually moving, but this has been sort of problematic. We've got this miner here. You've got the system tab over here. So you're going to go ahead and just go to system here. And then what we're going to do is navigate down to factory reset. So this is going to be a real easy tutorial today. Just click reset to default. And it's going to go through and do the factory reset back to the original. And then it's going to pop up with the success modal that will uh, be clickable for a second and then it won't be clickable actually at all. It's just a notification and that's normal. It's because the system has reset itself. So this mate right here that's actually clickable if you let it sit for a minute, it won't be. So if we go back to home now, you're going to see that there's no minor pool configured anymore. You're going to click on here and you're going to actually see the actual pool settings are not set either. So you're going to have to go in here and add your uh, pool settings again. But in order to do that, you need to go in here and unlock your machine. Your password is your default. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I always recommend updating that too. Okay, uh, just because it's not a not a great password to have on the network. If somebody gets on your network, they can easily get into your machine. If as long as they can identify what type of machine it is. And then here you're going to go ahead and click add your pool priority and then you can choose whatever pool you want to choose also i want to show you that if you have to manually do it and you need a micro sd card you can find their github okay and you can actually go to their gold shell website click support down at the bottom there is also a software um, link that you will click so go ahead and click that and then it's going to bring you up here with all of the C CPB files and you're going to locate the one you actually need or you can actually just go down here to the readme and click on which machine you actually need and then it's going to start your download and then all you do is download that and put it on a micro SD put it in the front of your machine start your machine up and you are ready to go I will talk with you later I hope you're having a great day bye